I got a comment on my last video saying that I should show some more love to my archers so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what build I have here again moon katana I like uh, the moon cancels ultimate damage is important here with moon master for those moon cancels skipping stone I go for headshot damage range resolve gain because that's important helmet piercing and headshot refund so you could potentially never run out of arrows hunter charm with a full 10 percent headshot damage 19.8 alt again combat regen combat regen is very important I recommend using foul arrows instead of blessed because it's way better I just haven't gotten it yet next sticky bomb ghost weapon damage 19% and blast radius for that resolve you can use either of these two but I'm using the bottle just because it's an ultimate damage build usually you use munitions and lucky on the smoke bomb you can use cooldown reduction on kill because you're getting a lot of kills too so that would help too um, you could choose either one this is the first perk I use if it, I'm not using the liquid courage but I'm gonna be using it for this video because well I really love the liquid Choose courage and my <laughs> talent. Excellent choice. this was last week's survival we're on blood of the snow now but this is one of the hardest waves they took out three enemies right there and this is all onis and they're pretty low their health is pretty low I think it would do more damage if this had foul arrows. Um, I'm going to have to test that and see if it's going to be better. I'm pretty sure it should be. So foul arrows would definitely help. Sometimes these builds can really depend on your own playstyle. If you're not too good at getting headshots, sometimes like I am, you can run Liquid Courage, and you, those headshots sometimes won't even matter. Um, but if you're confident in getting headshots all the time, you can run Smoke. Smoke is still very good for the Archer. Sorry, I mean Hunter. And it can stop waves and gather the enemy up for one good sweep attack on the ultimate. Because if they're all close together, and you ultimate on them, I'm pretty sure that should wipe most of the wave out. Obviously the hunter is already pretty OP. Uh, the only other character class that I think can compare to a hunter when it comes to kills is the samurai. And maybe a ronin if you're good with bombs and ghost weapons but the archer is not really my go-to when I play any game mode I usually main samurai that or ronin um, it's just how I always been I don't know why but sometimes I think the hunter is just too easy to play for me and eh, I don't know but this is just how I feel on the hunter if you like to use the hunter then that's all you everyone has their own play styles this is just mine this is probably uh, just one of my t two only builds for my hunter I only have two builds for her um, as for uh, the other classes I have multiple builds for the assassin the ronin and the samurai so maybe I'll do another build video for the hunter in the, in the near future. I'm thinking that a cool blessed arrow, foul arrows build would be pretty interesting to use. The only thing is uh, you would be missing out on the good combat regen that keeps you alive. Um, but then again, that's where the blessed arrows come in. But you do have to be close to the enemy 
as you can see, the radius is decent, but when you're a hunter, you tend to play more far away. Um, but just an interesting idea, floating around. See if I can give it a shot later on. The hunter, it's an easy class to master, I think. If you have, if you're having trouble with a good hunter build, uh, anything works. Basically, if you just need good stats and you need everything to come together nicely and everything to combine with each other. Uh, let's say if you're running a good fire build, you can use st a stealth charm with ultimate damage and you can get status effect duration or get status effect damage and since you can have two perks you can have fire master and then anything else you want so you can have combat regen with fire master um, and as long as you get good status effect durations or status effect damage is up uh, you should be able to have crazy fire damage so long as you stack all the numbers together so basically what I did for this build was stack headshot damage as you can see that's one arrow and it took probably a good I'd say not a good quarter of his health but a decent amount when you're running this build you can one shot any smaller enemy if you're running that double headshot and then obviously the double ultimate damage comes in handy here so that's the build